Um, so the, per, the, the other types of transitions are musical transitions. How many of you, um, I know that not everybody has the ability to have this, but like, do any of you use pads in your, in your worship services? Like kind of like an underlying kind of synth pad. Um, I've kind of, I've, I've utilized those a lot in our worship services, um, especially in helping connect one song to another. And if I'm going to verbally transition from one song to another, it just kind of helps continue the flow through the worship set. Um, even if you have to change keys or whatever, just you can have the pad player go through a chord progression. Um, and what will happen, the music is continuing to play underneath or there's just chording underneath. Um, and I know for me, when I'm, and as a worship leader, when I'm hearing music behind me, it kind of inspires me in, in what I'm going to say. If I'm, if I'm talking over complete dead silence, for some reason that just feels really awkward to me. It's like I just feel very naked when I'm doing that. And so I always kind of like having a little bit of background music, and it could be acoustic guitar picking. It could be a piano player just kind of noodling some notes on the piano. Typically for us, it's a pad. Um, but the, that is a great way to create flow uh, in your worship set is to use those pads to connect songs together. 